Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the 2021 Veloster N. So I'm in the Focus right now, driving to our local university in Southern California, as the parking lot's always empty and it has cool solar panels. But yeah, so my friend John, he's gonna be going over in-depth of the uh, Veloster N. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that and leave us any uh, questions down below in the comments and we'll try to get back to you uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, we're here at the local university with the 2021 Veloster N. My car over there. Derek's over there. All right. So, John, tell us about your new car. New car. Let's start with the fact that it's a Hyundai, uh, which shocks most people. Hyundai, over the last couple of years, has released their N line, which is a performance division of Hyundai. This car came out in North America in 2019, so it's only about three years old here. Uh, they started out the end line with a hatchback, as you can see, and it's quite an interesting configuration because it has three doors. Three doors. Not a lot of people know that, no. But it has three doors, so here on the passenger side, you have the passenger door. One door. Your passenger door. Okay. But on the other side, if you wrap around, there's actually only one door which is an absolutely massive door, might I say. Because if door. you go into a gas station, you kind of got to park far away. There's nothing there to open up. No door. This seat moves forward, obviously. Right. So three-door hatchback, that's pretty cool. Three-door hatchback. Right. Now, the reason that these things are so popular is because these have 275 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque, which is really impressive in a really small car. It's a lot of obviously, horsepower. it's front-wheel drive, and it's able to put the power down so easily because it has a limited slip differential. Okay. So that helps power the car through corners, coming out of corners, go into corners, absolutely everything. You know, people drive these things in the rain. We don't really know what that is here in Southern California. Stupid 350Z on the freeway. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't rain much here. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't rain much here. So these things do great in rain and snow, surprisingly. Uh, it comes with the 19-inch Pirelli P0s from the factory that were designed with Hyundai to, in conjunction to just provide the most grip for the vehicle. Uh, it's really impressive. Uh, Zero to 60, I believe Motor Trend did a 5.2. Uh, for 2021, they released the... For 2021, they released the 8-speed wet dual-clutch automatic but you can still get a six speed manual. So the other option is the DCT, right? Correct. Eight, eight speed? Yes. But that's lame, right? That's it's, lame? It's actually really cool. It is cool, right? It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's technically faster, right? Because right, technology, but it's this some, is more fun. Yeah, definitely okay, more it. fun. More of a driver's car. It's really impressive. Yeah. Uh, 2021 got upgraded with these really nice uh, sport bucket seats. The N logo in there lights up. That's a if really cool feature. We move over to the steering wheel. You can see these two buttons on here. You can see this whole trend of blue. These two buttons, you can change your drive mode. So once you put push this button, goes into end mode, kind of really opens up the exhaust, uh, quickens throttle response, just absolutely everything to wake the car up. It's really impressive. That's cool. Yeah. Let's uh, turn it on and let's show them how to yeah. put it in end mode. All it is done and the exhaust is open cool All right. let do that again but let me go back there <laughs> see what this sounds like That's uh, that that's quite loud. That hurt my ears actually. <laughs> Impressive. So which exhaust is the one that opens? So it's the one on the right. The one on the right has a little valve that um, opens and closes up. Maybe I can push that right now. All right, let's try and hear the difference. If the car is too hot, it'll just be too it'll be too hot, too loud to actually. I I, I actually heard the difference, but right. I don't know if the camera would have picked that up. Um, if we move forward, now we do have a couple fake vents right here. 
But one cool thing is there's this cutout that actually directs air into the tire well, the wheel well, and cools off the brakes that are, by the way, made by, made by Hyundai and the N division. They did not go with Brembo's to cut down on cost, and as well, they actually tested Brembo's and found that these were just as good, if not better. So that's really impressive. Now, this car is going to run you about 33000 um, if you want to buy it brand new. So whoever's going to buy this, most likely they might want a daily driver as well. And you may be wondering how it um, fares, you know, practicality. Quite a big trunk. Actually, quite a big trunk. It's very deep. The back seats fold down and they really gives you, you know, that, that perfect hatchback experience. Um, if we move towards the back, though, if we move towards the back, there's a fair amount of room back here. Now, this is a little low because it slopes down, but once you go in, here is a... All right, I'm 6'1 and 230 pounds. Right, six foot one. So he does have to duck a little to get in, but once he gets in, I mean, that's... That's pretty good. Like two inches of knee room as well. Close the door, no problem. Again, if we move over to the back, this is pretty much my favorite side of the car. I mean, those Lamborghini brake lights, <laughs> they kind of mimic the Aventador, which is pretty funny. You do have that um, beautiful stock spoiler, a little bit of a big carbon thing right here, but very cool nonetheless. There is a third brake light, Formula One style pretty much. That is really cool. The diffuser, they say it's functional, slightly arguable because the bottom of the car is not entirely flat but it is very flat surprisingly very flat the exhausts are beautiful and you do have all this really nice red trim going all throughout the bottom of the car as well as the brake calipers this is all stock nothing has been changed about this nothing has been modified this is just straight from the dealer it still has about 500 miles All right, so that's probably it for this uh, in-depth review of the 2021 Veloster N. Um, you said you got the last one in California, right? Yeah, this is, uh, it was actually very hard to find. I spent maybe two, three weeks looking for one, which doesn't seem long. I know people have spent way longer, but there was one about 45 minutes from me driving down to the dealership. We agreed to meet at about 12, and I get a text from the guy who's helping me saying there's a guy coming at 11, and he's going to buy the car. So if I want to buy it before him, I have to get there before. Showed up at 10.30, somebody else, other than the guy that was coming at 11, showed up at 10.15 pretty much, and just bought it within 10 minutes and left with it. That's insanity. Kind of crazy. So I found the only other one in California within a 500 mile radius. I mean, there was one in all the way in Arizona, but that was automatic. So I had to go with the manual. So there was one all the way in Fresno, which is about 280 miles from where we are now drove up there at 6 a.m. put a deposit the night before so it didn't get sold beneath my feet you know yeah that's crazy so drove you just, up you just drove up at 6 a.m. picked it up and drove it back down yeah. and this is your first manual car right so yeah. Had, yeah yeah the clutch is the clutch is pretty good like it's a, it's a very like early you know bite point it yeah really good and it has that you know just just like any modern manual car like lets you roll with it you don't even put any gas when you're on a flat yeah yeah yeah, I like this clutch way more than the, the Focus. <laughs> this one is like more stiffer and the, the bite point is way closer to the floor rather than the Focus's bite point is like 50% all the way up. It's kind of annoying, but but yeah, guys. All right, so I appreciate everybody watching this video. Uh, leave us a comment down below uh, with any questions regarding the 2021 uh, Veloster N and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, till next time, catch you guys in the next video.